In 1964, theoretical physicist Peter Higgs proposed something so radical it almost ruined him. And almost 50 years later, it won him the Nobel Prize. In the 60s, Higgs and a few others were trying to understand what creates mass and why different particles have different masses. Higgs's idea was that an unidentified energy field, later named the Higgs field, gives all fundamental particles in the universe mass. Here's the idea. Think of a particle's mass like an actor's fame. And the Higgs field is like the paparazzi. Some particles, like unknown actors, pass through the crowd of the paparazzi with ease. The paparazzi simply aren't interested in them. But other particles, like superstars, have to push and press to get through. And the more those particles struggle to get through the crowd, the more they interact with the paparazzi. And the more mass they gain. Higgs's first paper on the topic was rejected, but he rewrote it with a new prediction for the existence of a fundamental particle that would eventually be called the Higgs boson. To confirm the existence of the field, scientists smashed together particles with a lot of energy in an attempt to knock loose a piece of the Higgs field and produce a tiny particle of its own, the Higgs boson. Finding the Higgs boson would confirm the existence of the Higgs field. And it worked! In 2012, scientists in Switzerland detected the particle in a series of experiments at the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Higgs's idea about matter had transformed our understanding of space. He and Francois Englert were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013.